Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. Where are we now? Hi everyone. If you are like me, technology is fascinating. Robotics in particular has come a long way. Many movies have been made. But what is the reality? Where is the world in terms of creating artificial life? Is our world as portrayed in The Terminator a possible future reality? Or perhaps like the British sitcom Humans, will we one day have a robot family member? Welcome to Ladder Cat Productions, the place for health, science, and fun. The first scientific breakthrough that I want to discuss is electronic skin. Penn State has announced that an international research team has developed electronic skin sensors capable of mimicking human emotion. This work could help severely injured people such as soldiers regain the ability to control their movements as well as contribute to the development of smart robotics. Texture and force and capturing the sensitivity of the fingertip and mimicking the human hand is its goal. Imagine skin sensors that could differentiate between handling an egg versus a watermelon. Another technological breakthrough is trust through emotion. What good are having these machines if we do not trust them? The U.S. Army Research Laboratory is working on a more complex picture of how actions and nonverbal signals contribute to promoting cooperation. Researchers suggested guidelines for designing autonomous machines such as robots, self-driving cars, drones, and personal assistants that will effectively collaborate with soldiers. This research is essential so people will trust machines. So, for example, a robot won't smile at inappropriate times. Another fascinating discovery is artificial intelligence that aids gene activation. This was released from the University of California in San Diego. Scientists have long known that human genes are activated through instructions delivered by the precise order of our DNA. With the aid of artificial intelligence, researchers have solved a long-standing DNA activation code mystery. Their discovery, which they termed the Downstream Core Promoter Region, or DPR, could eventually be used to control gene activation in biotechnology and also have biomedical applications. So maybe a world like the Gattaca movie is coming our way, where babies are created in labs and babies conceived naturally are inferior. Another technological breakthrough is the new electronic skin that can react to pain, just like human skin. RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia says new pain sensing prototypes mimics the body's near instant feedback response and reacts to painful sensations with the same lightning speed that nerve cells travel to the brain. It is a significant advance towards next generation biomedical technology, smart prosthetics and intelligent robotics. The reason this is so important is if you had artificial skin and say something was compromising the skin, such as a heat source, you would react by feeling pain. So that if the skin caught on fire, for instance, the pain would alert the brain that something's wrong. Another technological discovery is the artificial intelligence could expand healing with bioscaffolds. Rice University researchers state artificial intelligence can speed the development of 3D printed bioscaffolds that help injuries heal. Bioscaffolds developed by Rice bio bioengineers are bone-like structures that serve as placeholders for injured tissue. They are porous to support the growth of cells and blood vessels that turn into new tissue and ultimately replace the implant. So if you think about it, wow, they put the uh, bio scaffolds in place, new tissue would grow, and then the bio scaffolds would just be absorbed 
and a wound could heal. It's just amazing. Another technological breakthrough is the brain's memory ability to inspire artificial intelligence experts in making neural networks less forgetful. The University of Massachusetts in Amherst and the Baylor College of Medicine report that they can increase artificial capabilities through replay. This process would involve storing previously encountered examples and revisit them when learning something new. Currently, deep neural networks, which are the main drivers behind recent artificial intelligence advances, are held back by forgetting what they've learned before. And this will help with the memory process. The next technological breakthrough is artificial intelligence system developed to help better select embryos for implantation. At Brigham and Women's Hospital, and Massachusetts General Hospital, they state the in vitro fertilization success rate currently is only about 30%. And this new technology could help embryologists objectively select embryos most likely to result in a viable, healthy birth. So there's a lot of interesting and world changing technology out there. What do you think about this? You think the world's ready? Please like, watch, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Ladder Cat Productions is the place for health, science, and fun. See you next time.